completely demolish teams once he gets going. And he did it to me. He made me an inferior person. And uh, we, him and I, we've, we've, ta- I've probably talked to him the most outside of yourself on the phone. And uh, man, he made me feel like a child in those games. And when you score a hundred, like, like he still has four games left, and he already broke Klima's record from last season. Yeah. Do you think? Do you think? Zach is gonna that no. This is this is his. Uh, Zach has probably already won it. Um, just given on what he's got four games left, and knowing Klein with the way he plays, Zach could probably get another twelve. Yeah, but the thing is, is that you think about it though, is Medano scored I think eleven points in four games. Yeah. Uh, you, you you compile compile those numbers together. I I, I don't see it happening, but no, you, yeah. uh, that's a hard that's a hard thing to go with. Yeah. So, oh, come on, what's going on here? All right, there we no no I got it. It's just that I don't know what the fuck happened. I normally I was clicking with my mouse, but my mouse is I, I had to go plug in my laptop. Uh, Taipei. Typhoons, probably the, the one of the cool. I, I think all the Waterloo guys got the, the, some of the coolest logos. Uh, he dropped this on me, and I'm like, oh shit, that's a sweet ass logo. And the thing is with Taipei, uh, he he does some Chinese shit to you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't know. If, like, it's just ridiculous. The thing is, his schedule is his record. Not so much his schedule. He's played 40 games. He's fifth in the Prince, which he'll probably finish out in the fifth or sixth. Maybe seventh. Who knows, depending on how this Lloyd Xmas plays. But uh, he's a dark horse. Like, I don't want to play him in the playoffs. Every game, like you've, like you've said, every game, every game's going to be a, no, no, no game's going to be easy. Yeah, and like, and the hard thing is too is when you compare it to ninety four, I just feel like when you play ninety four with your goalie, there's like some glitch or some kind of style of how to score. Like the players always do these backhands, the goalie does a double pad stack, and the puck always goes in. I'm like, that's a fucking flaw. You do it in ninety five, you can't. It just there's I don't think there's any flaw in 95's gameplay when you score. If you use your goalie, you can do any kind of shot. You're not gonna score it on a user goalie. Mm-hmm. Man, you, you gotta find that little hole. You gotta find that little hole. I think I tried it against. I think it was against Sammy Smith. I did a wraparound. I was going around the net, and he went in the middle, and I'm like, fuck it, I'm just gonna shoot. So I shot right along the red line, and I scored. And he says, how the fuck did you get that in? I said, well, you left the fucking post open. I'm going to put it in. But th- there's very few and holes you could put it in. Yeah, definitely. The Kraken, yeah, spread that crack. <laughs> um, the man that came out of left field, but not really. He was probably coming out of the uh, the pitching pen, which is in left field, and uh, he brought the the, <laughs> the wild thing. He brought he brought it right away, like number one in the clearance. The only person right now I think has a chance of breaking Kings Wrath regular season record, which is only one season, but I think it's. 39 games and I think he still has 43-44. Hell, you know, he'll come up short. I, just, I think he's only two Yeah, but the King Raph finished last season 39 and uh, 39 and 6. Oh, okay. So King Raph didn't go to overtime last season where Sean Bell's gone overtime five times. Yeah. So he's top five in seven of the eight team stats. Eric Lindros is 
I think he's in top, at least top 10, at least seven or eight of the categories as well. He's uh, leading the league in body checks by a wide margin. Uh, I know when uh, we had Bomb Jack, he's just like complaining, oh, Lindros is shit. Lindros isn't doing anything. Well, Sean Bell found out what to do with him. And uh, he... When you watch the uh, what movie was it? Uh, fuck, I can't I can't remember off. Of it. It's the, the the Holocaust. I can't remember off the top of my head. Schindler's List. Schindler's List. And he's Oscar Schindler, and he's going through his list and checking everybody off. I want to save these people, but everybody else, I'm sorry, you're gonna to have to be sacrificed. And he, all of those people that are being sacrificed. Are, I'm sorry if I have to make the Jewish pun, but he's he's burn he's burning everybody. Um, but yeah, he's he. I don't know. He's when I played him, we played both our games, but we played them separate nights. And I think I beat him the first game. And then and I played one of his warm-up games with him before he joined the league. Just to make sure he was up and running. And, man, I think both our games were no more than three goals combined. Like... Yep, oh, he, he's gonna he's gonna dead man you in a second, especially with Lindros. Lindros has got eighty nine points. I think he's finding his swing with those teams, but uh, uh, he's that type of guy. I don't want to play him. Uh, luckily, the only time I can play him now is in the, the finals, and that's even if I get there. I don't. Uh, probably I might have my same fucking exit I did last season, a sweep in the first round. Hopefully, it's not to the hands of Mike Vick, but uh, it might be to somebody. I would actually, I would actually take uh, Sunny Vales. Sunny Vales is deep, the deepest team, maybe not the best team, but they're the deepest, like consistent overalls throughout the whole roster. <laughs> and and we're we're not talking about single ply. We're talking about four ply. <laughs> I, I I think I. So if anybody has to play them strategy wise, you're gonna have to be very opt opportunistic. You're gonna take advantage of your opportunities when you do, because you're not gonna get many. <laughs> The only person I'd say that you could take advantage of on breakaways is on penalty shots, and the person that is the weakest in the league and he's flat out said it is Troy Hill. He says, I yeah. can't score, I can't score on them, and I can't stop them. Yeah. So if you get a penalty shot against Troy Hill, make sure you work on your breakaways because he's going to back check and you can maybe get that penalty shot. Yeah. Next up, Troy City Titans. So he took over, this is Lloyd Xmas 10, or Lloyd 10 Xmas. Uh, he took over Aftershock's team. 2 1 0 and 1. Uh, apparently, he is a manual goaltending star. Um, apparently, in his league, they did not let him play manual goalie. It's on auto. So, maybe those tournaments were rigged for him not to play well. And maybe, maybe, maybe. And for the fact that in four games, Medano's potted 11 points. And I told this to the Aftershock when he was playing with him. I said, put Medano at your center. Medano's a big boy, and he's got skill, and he just gets better in the next couple seasons. And I said star potential, unclear on this projection because it's a small sample size. We really don't know what is true. Like, if we're talking maybe two or three weeks from now, and he's already put in, like, 35 games, and he's, like, 28, 3, and 2 kind of thing, and one, 
then yeah, okay, we're, we're, he's gonna be somebody to face that you don't want to play. And yeah. I, I think the bad thing is is we're this league will become against like kind of like similar to the NA, uh, the NFL. Everyone's gonna have game tape on everybody, and you're gonna have to find different ways to play. And who's got the best memory of how the styles of play are? Um, some people are going to get found out really quickly. And if you don't figure it out, something different, you're going to get found out and you're going to pay for it. And right now, like we said, four games in, everybody says, oh, we don't really. He's he's the asterisk in the league. We don't know. We haven't seen enough of them. And that's something to talk about. No, and the bad thing is now to think about it too. I know uh, some guys have mentioned like they don't like the expansion draft because you use uh, you lose a, a potential prospect future. Um, then, you, then you have to protect them. It's it's the way in the beast. It's the way of the league. I lost Bobby Whole League last season, and I know Whole League goes off in two or three years from now. And uh, I think Ty Pay picked him up, and I'm pissed off because Bobby Whole League's gonna obviously be one of his top forwards in the next two or three years. But um, we have a couple new expansion teams coming in again. So Lloyd Xmas took over Troy Hill. That's not a problem. Um, Grand River took over the Hartford Hot Jets. Uh, so they didn't really have to draft teams. So you're not going to really lose anybody. I think there are only going to be one, maybe two expansion teams. So there's only going to be six teams that are going to be impacted. So we might increase it to protect nine and you only have three players exposed. Who knows? Yeah. But... Well, that's the thing too, and everybody's going to be seeing it differently next season because the the boosts are disappearing to the tune of your first round pick is worth a boost, and your second and third are worth only 0.5. So you have to combine your second and third to use it as a boost. So they're not going to be as valuable. So you're going to have to draft a player if you really want to. So there's going to be a little bit more, but like Troy City, I'm I'm interested to see this manual goaltending star in the making. So. Oh yeah. Put it this way: probably people, if they had Tony Twist, they would have probably put Tony Twist on this speed as well. Yeah. I <laughs> And the Blumpkin. Leave the best for last. Uh, so uh, it's a laundry list of everything about this guy. Dirtiest, the funniest. Uh, uh, fuck, there's, there's, there's not enough time in the day to talk about Troy Hill. Um, number one in the Prince of Wales, 31-12-2-1. Top 10 in all 18 categories. Uh, he's the only team I had to put two players because that's how deep his team is. Uh, Gary Roberts is, I think, top 10 in six of eight of the categories, maybe more. Uh, Justin Thibault is top 10 in all four goalie categories. And playing him in the Q League, fuck, I can't beat him. I get pissed off. Like, I really can't play. I, I, like, he's, the, he's, he's known as the Canadian dump. That's where he came from. And the fact that his team is called the Blumpkins, and the fact that his team is called the Blumpkins, getting a blowjob on the toilet, on the shitter, and he's known for the Canadian dump. <laughs> yeah, he's he's kind of like that person where you would be in a room five by five. Every second square inch of the floor has a trap on it. And the only way you can maneuver around it is on your tippy toes. And you have to be fleet of foot to get through it, but nobody's fleet of foot. Nobody's a bat. Sorry, go ahead. A 
other than my clap bomb from the points. You should have saw that one against Bla uh, Blair. <laughs> this is, I, you guys probably wouldn't let me in in a Segathon tournament because you're like, oh, you're the clapper, get out of here. You drive all the way from Canada, what you didn't, you wasted your time. <laughs> uh, next category is our potential playoff matchups. So this is as of tonight. I haven't posted the last couple of box scores. Like today's been uh, just a shit show, but this is basically the playoff pitcher right now. Um, it's all automated. So anytime a score gets updated, the players, the teams shift around. Um, Troy Hill against Mike Vicky BC is an interesting matchup. Um, and you know the. The, the, the thing is with that series, you got a vocal person versus a person that's not vocal. But knowing Mike Vick, the way I've spoken to him, and he's got that Italian accent, I could just imagine him vocal live against Troy Hill. And it, it would just be a fucking... Uh, I, I, I would pay money to see that. That should be one of them. <laughs> just for ratings, for whatever <laughs> Oh, I think so. I think so. I think so. I, th I see that game, that series probably going to seven. Yeah. Uh, Sunnyvale and Taipei. Um, that, that, that's an odd one. I think uh, McLean's going to want to redeem himself from last season's exit. Mm -hmm. um, but Taipei is that team that you just don't, like, like I said, all the new guys who came in this season, we got small sample sizes. You only seen them for this season. You don't, we didn't have anything to go off of last season. McLean's in the same boat he was last year, but he still has four games left, so he could still potentially move up in the two or three spot. Um, but it's his, it's it's his caught. And that cross crease could die very quickly. McLean will go off. Yeah, I, 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 I would agree with that. I would agree that say, I'd say McLean would win that series. I'd say in six. Oh, if you was just a one and done. Yeah. Uh. He is. <laughs> Definitely. I I think I think we should get guys to host them so they can stream it, or at least like even for me like they, I can host them and then I can record it. Yeah. Something like that. But uh, the next series, Halifax and Pitt. Uh, this is probably one of those one series is that we're going to end up getting Halifax to the time where the, the King of 94 is going on, or it's just about to, and he'll be distracted. And uh, Nips are going to take over. I see this being a five-game series. I see Halifax maybe popping out one, but I don't know. Maybe Halifax might get on a run. Who knows? But Nips is that one guy that I played the most. It could. I, I, I see that going five games I had to, to, for Nips. I see that going in. I, of all the guys in the league, I've played him the most. Even in the queue and online, just like practice and stuff like that. He is probably the most frustrating player to play against. Like even more so even more so than LHX. But just, just frustrating in his style of play. It just uh, It's the kind of thing where you're like, you know when like, you give up a goal and you start slamming your hand on the table repeatedly and then you look at your hand you're like, fuck, I broke my knuckle. He's that player that you that I do that against. I fucking hate it. And Dave, if you're listening, fuck you. <laughs> um, me against Autobahn. This, me and Brandon probably match up the best. 
for our styles of play. Um, I don't want to count myself out, but I think Brandon could take it in six. Oh, you can just go to the team, go to the team schedule and do the drop down for the team. I think I beat him in one and he beat me in the other. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he, I don't like his style of play. It's I, I, I like I've seen him play live. It's he's what would I say? He's like a chess player. And if we're not doing speed round, we're talking about the people that are like they don't know how to play chess very well. But they take so long to do a move and then you're like, "Well, why the Oh, that's why you, oh, fuck, why did he do that move? Yeah. Yeah, and I, and I honestly, he is that, he is that one, he is that one player where I'm like, okay, I know I played well, but I lost 3-1. He's that one guy that makes you scratch your head at the end of the day and be like, "How the fuck did I lose?" Yeah, exactly. And then when you and then when you win, you're just like, "How how come I uh, fuck man? He played me tight." He's that one guy when you play a game, you're just like, "I don't know what happened, and I do know what happened, but I still don't know what happened." Yeah, it is. You got twenty five across the network. Uh, <laughs> Thunder Bay and the Gophers. This, ah, oh, <laughs> just looking at just. That's why I'm looking at this series. I'm looking at this series, being like, "Oh man, I want this series. I want to see Judd and the Gold Gaelic Gopher. Fucking, ah, it would be it would be bittersweet to see Sean Dull get knocked out in the first round. But my money's on the Gaelic Gopher. I." Or maybe it's the kind of thing, maybe Sean Bell's going to get that cold feet being like, shit, he beat me twice. And like, get inside your own head and start playing like crap. <laughs> oh, you know what? The, the, thing, the funny thing is, I think we're all within, oh, fuck, I don't know, maybe seven hours of each other. Because yeah. you're in Minnesota, I think G-Lock's in Windsor, uh... Me, the Unholy, LA Checks, all the Windsor boys, I think maybe, I think Sean Bell's the only person he's actually up in Thunder Bay, which is like 14 hours. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Then um, you got the Mike Vick and uh, King Raff in the, the New York State. Then you got all the Philly and Pittsburgh boys. And then, uh, yeah, fuck them. You, 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 yeah, okay, so how many, how many Philly, how many Philly guys do we have here anyways? One. To, yeah, yeah, we could probably bypass them. <laughs> no, 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 no. Especially, I think Clang coming in with his beard, he'll be slapping things around, being like, this doesn't work. Get me to ho host me now. Host me now. <laughs> and then you'll host him and he'll destroy you. <laughs> Next series, Highland and the Mullets. Uh, this one's going seven. It's the one series I think will go seven in the West. And the Clarence, uh, the yeah, the Clarence Campbell, will go seven. And you're gonna have to you're, you're gonna have to put down the blinds too, so the goats don't look at you. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I hope not either, for your sake at least. Um, uh, LA checks and run through against Richfield. Uh, I'm cheering. Well, that's the hard that's the hard thing looking at this now because this is not the final these are potential matchups this is still with like yeah it is and Renfrew against Richfield 
I don't think they have. So, like, even the matchup alone, it's it was the, it, will it give you a projection of what the series will be like? It's I I really don't know. I if I had to just say, you know what, shot in the dark, who you think would win? I I, I have to say uh, Renfro. I think after last season's exit early, and Troy Hill took advantage of him too to get him out. I think he's on a, a revenge tour, and I but I also think Blair at the same time with Richfield doesn't want a repeat of last season getting as deep as he did and get ousted by King Raph. But you know what the bad thing is, though, is the next series, Anaheim against Grand River. Um, I think even King Raph told me too. He says these uh, these Waterloo boys are a little tricky. They're uh, I think I think they did not they weren't as honest as they were when they came in. Oh well, we're we're we're, we're good. They're like I'm the best of our group, and like it's like I said in the weekly video. You're like I'm the best of my group. It's me, myself, and I, and I is the best. And but they're like the the three the, the three stooges. Like you you think that one of them is screwing up, and then the other two screw up, and then next thing you know, they're freaking going around the back and beating everybody. And Well, just, just just the fact alone that they have another one coming in, maybe two. I, I, I fuck, I don't want them in the league now. <laughs> it, it, <laughs> oh, well, that's. Well, it would be the Battle of the Tribes. That's what it would be. So, it's it's going to have to happen. We have to arrange it. We'll take over a convention center in downtown Toronto or something like that. Or in the middle of Timbuktu up in Owen Sound. I don't know. Something weird. Um, but Grand River in Anaheim. I, I don't know if the timing is right for Grand River at this moment. But uh, the, the thing is with King Rap, you never you never can tell. And it's the thing. The reason why I said never can tell is that he is, is he just going to smoke him or is it going to be that one spot where he shows his sign from the beginning of the season again? So to give you a little insight so everybody knows, um, yes, I do a lot of the grunt work in our statistics. Mm, I would say 85% of the automation of our league has been to the hands of King Raf. Awesome. So he created the extractor that I can just basically drop the states into now and it pumps out all the stats. And with his help, I've learned a little bit more about the formulas, how I can use them. And manipulate the data to tell everybody now that I'm at this point is that Google Sheets that we have right now is disappearing the whole thing yeah in a good way I'm bringing another Google Sheet in but it's gonna be a lot cleaner less tabs a little bit more streamlined but I'm just letting you know now that at one point probably from the end of this season to the beginning of the next that one will disappear and I'll send out an invite for all the new one it's just going to be a lot more cleaner. It's going to have like an automated, uh, you can retrieve box scores from previous seasons. Um, 
it's it's all going to be tied in together. All the things are going to be a lot more automated. There's going to actually be a player comparison tab dashboard where you can actually pull up a player from, say, I want to pull up uh, Cliff Rowney and compare him to Owen Nolan based on the league averages. So if you guys are stat junkies, you're going to have fun with that tab. Well, like everybody complains about nipples being at home. He spends more time playing NHL 95 than he does working. Uh, I'd probably be pretty close to him in some degree, but most of the stuff I'm doing is the background stuff so you guys can enjoy it. And I like I, t I tip my hat to King Raffa and helping me with that because a lot of the stuff I'd still be asking to send me the state states. I'd still be loading them through RetroArch and manually entering everything. So. Oh, fuck was it ever. And this season's been a pleasant. I have actually able to start the other league up do the same thing and also start a third ta a third Google sheet to start it up as well. So a little more of insight, I'll be starting a potentially a third league for tiered teams. So we can have a competitive league and then we can have like, um, like a rec league. So guys who don't want to be like, okay, you know what? I'm kind of tired of like losing all the time. I just want to play with guys or just have a good time and have a good record. I'm going to create another one like that so that those guys can have their own league as well. Probably. So the thing we can do then is that, um, I was actually thinking about that the other day. I was thinking, oh, we could do like the season mode with like the save states. And I'm like, no, what? that'd be a little too tedious. Um, the best thing to probably do with it is to actually do a playoff bracket, best of seven series, play your series against the person. Then you take the save state and send it to the next guy. They play their series, but so that you have the playoff bracket live all the time. Yeah, we can call it the, we call it the OG. So it only be it would look like the screen is now all the time, and then we just have the, your your personal like we keep the records of your series, and that's it. Just something really basic. Yeah, no no stat keeping of like oh uh, Olin Nolan had fourteen goals in that playoff series. No, none of that. It would just be like you won the series four or one. It was against this person. And that's it. That you can keep it on you can keep it on your own little tiny notepad if you want. So. Before I did this that play, I was thinking who I think could end up in the finals based on everything I saw. This is what I think it is. I personally think that this could be the finals. Um, this is just my hypothetical. Uh, I put a little bit of everything of everybody's like little personality bits, like Troy Hill, known for the Canadian wraparound or the Canadian dump that you call it. The biggest Discord shit disturber. Like, if you don't, if you read most of his comments, it's stirring the pot. He, he's looking, he's looking for something to cause some mischief on somebody. Um, yeah, pretty much. I think he's the reason why. I think maybe he's the reason why the the red truck of death came along. I think he's he's the one who put out the fake hit. I, I really don't know. Maybe he was sitting on the can getting a blumpkin at the same time. Man, the, the man's a working a piece of work, put it that way. Uh, and so and then King Raph, defending champ, veteran online, and like I don't think there's anybody that rivals his his thumbs. Uh, there's just something he does with his stick handling, and like I love his little gifts that he puts on there because when he says. You try to attack Housley, you're going to get burnt. Yep. So the bad thing is, is what happens when Housley's gone? So I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe the king's staying around to be the king, and then he's just like, okay, I know what, I'm retiring. Like, I've had enough fun with 95. Was well, because the season of Housley's retiring? <laughs> Who knows? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's I, it, it's it's hard to say, but based on tendencies, based on projections, that and for me, that a lot of you guys are looking at the final statistics 
and you're looking at like the, the quick box scores and like you look at all those little things i get every single statistic that comes through seeing who they're playing against i see the trends like i i really wanted to do like the, how the season goes on a like a chart for the, each team saying here's a win here's a loss here's your point total how it increases throughout the season uh like kind of give it on a trajectory I, I, Troy Hill is probably the most dangerous player in the league. Not not because of his style of play, not because of his his different things that he does. I think he's the he's exactly like an NFL player like Jalen Ramsey. Gets in your face and like but the thing is he backs it up. And I think he And that's the thing is that I wanted to extend that out to anybody else in the league. If you want to join the queue, it's it's not as com- like it's competitive because you're playing against guys, but you're also playing ten games against each other. So it's all, we're only six teams in it. It's you play ten games against each team, and it's fast paced. It's basically like you play like six or seven games a day. So it's like if guys are like, hey, I want to get some practice in. You know what, you can take over my team and play it, or you only want to play a couple games, play my team so you don't. You can get some warm-up games, you can do that as well. Um, or we can add a team in as like a, a floater for anybody who wants to come in and play. We can do that as well. So that it gives everybody some practice to say, you know what, I need some warm-up games for the WNHL. Come in, play a few games in the queue, okay, jump over and play the other league. I know some guys are limited on time and also like time of day when they can play. But it's it's a good it's a good. Yeah. Yeah, and but the thing is, in the queue is that a lot of the guys are always available, so you can always get a game in. So even if you need like a one or two game warm up, Nips, Troy Hill, LHX, Sean Bell, myself, uh, and the Wolf. Like we're like some of the most guys on online playing as as often as we are, and all the guys when I see on Discord who's live, it's those five guys with me. So you're always going to be able to find a game from one of them. So, but other than that, that's the video. Tomorrow I'm going to post the the our weekly video based on the power polls. Um, I'm not. It's not going to be a very long video. I, I might even postpone it this week and put it next week because yeah, we did did because we did this video. Uh, these videos, because right now I think we're at an hour and a half, um, maybe even closer to two. But uh, yeah, I know. Well, I don't even know what time it is because I've been looking at the screen the whole time. Uh, um, but overall, is uh, my wife's probably wondering why? When are you going to come out of the bedroom? Yeah, and and for you guys not to notice either, this is actually the second time Segathon and I are doing the video. We, we started and we did it for about 45 minutes and I realized my microphone volume was blocked. So the video wasn't being recorded. <laughs> so fuck me. <laughs> um, so that's it. So you guys have a good night. Get your games in when you can. We're kind of projecting for the first, week of, first weekend of December to end the, the regular season. So if you can finish by then, that's great. If not, we maybe push it back a couple days. Uh, but I think everyone wants to kind of get their games in so we can get the playoffs going and get it done before the holidays and then we can shut it down for a few weeks. So, yeah, and then second, third season, if you haven't put your Discord stuff, uh, your um, your notes onto the Google Sheet, it's the first thing once you sign in, it says sign up three season three like we did for season two. Season three is going to be a lot more structured. There's going to only be six to eight games a week. You're capped at that. So the only way, if you play through them, that's it. Nobody else is going to be forced to play games or be like, shit, I got to play like seven or eight games this week uh, or play catch up right now. So basically it'll last. I talked to Halifax. He says six to eight games a week is pretty good. Even I talked to, to Judd Gaelic Gopher. He says, yeah, six games is really good because you can do that in one night. You don't have to feel like you have to be on every night to play games. Yeah. So it'll be a little bit more structured and then we'll have rivalry week. So you'll have a rival. Um, I already got mine. Mine's McCline. I don't even have to have the discussion. Um, I think there's a couple of other ones that'll probably come out of the works. Um, I'm pretty sure uh, Mike Vick and uh, <laughs> King Raff are going to be a rival. I don't know. He doesn't have Heinz anymore, so we don't know. 
But other than that, do you have anything to say to Sagathon? Uh, yeah, I got about a 20-minute speech I want to give. Uh, just to promote yeah. his uh, <laughs> so All right. So. All right, keep it up, guys, and uh, we'll see you on the next video or potentially in the playoffs. And you can probably eliminate me if you want. All right. There you go. All right. Good night, guys.